exotic Litomen. Oh, oh. Acting face for our game number one of match number two. Ladies and gentlemen, is the emperors on the left? They are on the play. The punishers are going to respond. Unang bandito, it's going to be the Cho and the Claude. And on the other side, it's uh, the Kaja and the Grok. It's the Claude here that's surprising given our stats. Uh, I think it's important uh, for uh, the emperors here to actually block out uh, the lethality of Zapnu on that Claude. So, ngayon, makikita natin, natin yung Zapnu and Chaknu uh, mm -hmm. connection. Uh, our boy Zapnu here has been busy in the past few weeks. So, uh, madalas ang naglalaro dyan, si Hate or si Sire. Pero, at least ngayon, makikita natin, yung medyo star player ng Punishers maglalaro. And mm -hmm. it's just right for the Emperors to respect that and take away his quad. Of course. And, for, for their first pick, syempre ito take away din ng Happy Feet Emperors ang kanilang Leo more Dahil nakita nga natin kanina na that Suha Execution Punishers are mostly using this hero right here. At syempre nakita natin sa screen talking very seriously kung ano ang magiging first and second picks nila. And to me, syempre since naban ng most banned and most pick, oh, mukhang the Esmeralda is going into play at let's not forget that the Akai is also Akai. open. At ayan na nga, ladies and gents, they will be locking in the Esmeralda and the Akai. On cam, you also earlier, my boy Billy, si Zapnu, and of course, their playing coach, si Saire. Napakaganda ng mga drafting strategy ni paring Saire. And even if he is not playing, he is uh, gonna be... Uh, Helping the team uh, ban out and play out these heroes. Mr. VL camera right now picking up the Minotaur and the Harith. Nakalusot yung Harith. And nakalusot din ang Lunox, take note. But of course, not really prioritizing the Lunox, but we have to give emphasis on this Harith. But, syempre, dahil nakalusot ang Harith, malulusot din ang Diggy. And it will be locked in by Pakbet over here. I think it's gonna be safe to say the Lunox is gonna see a ban here mm -hmm. because both teams. Um, Bet your bottom dollar do not want to be on the receiving end of a chaos assault. Medyo masayad yan. That's a percentage-based uh, magical damage <laughs> attack. And you don't want the heroes like bad. Akai or a Minotaur receiving this because kahit gano ka tank eh, kahit na mag-build ka pa ng magic defense, yes. masakit pa rin yan as long as it pulls through. And I think what Sua Execration Punishers did here, picking up uh, the uh, Diggy, is gonna be good kasi... Uh, Gana gana na yan. Pasok na pasok na yan. Yes. You are going to be stopping the Minoan Fury. You're going to be stopping the Zaman Force. And of course, once Barbiel hits the board, medyo yung mga stomp niya, safe na kayo dyan, as long as you hit the time's journey just right. Second phase of banning though, check it out. It's the Kimi going away and the Selena. So, okay pa. Nandyan pa si mm -hmm. Maring uh, Lunox. Yes, pero oh. we are seeing that the Gushan is going to be hovered by Chakno dito. Siyempre, nakita natin that the Gushan is performing very well here even though na hindi siya yung top pick or top band at ayan na nga na lock in na nila with, without further ado sabi ng so execution punishers at syempre this goes to show that the Granger is up for grabs but ooh look at this mukhang nilock in nila ang Rafaela here which is quite a shock and a very exotic pick from Happy Feet ever Oh my god, this is how The emperors, they, they, they like to roll the dice. Yes. They like to gamble. And I'm talking about how some teams uh, really just want to have fun. Mm, yeah. And right now, ito yung idea nila ng fun. <laughs> Kaya sabihin mo, isa lang yung main tank nila, which they did in series one. Feeling ko naman, this should be some way to, to, to cover that weakness up. Kasi nga may Rafaela. There are ways to heal up. And because of that, there's no way that Lunox is going to see play here tonight. At least in Ooh. game one. Looks, Punishers. Yes. Pick up the thumbs. Yeah. And of course, knowing that they have chose that Thomas right here, this Esmeralda is going to be a lethal one, I think. Because ang isa sa mga core nila, it's going to be Zapno, of course, no doubt. Jen. Pero siyempre si Chakno, though, even if he's playing a tank, we also see him like play support as well. And I think it's going to be... Um, nakita natin yan sa ating game na yan, since he will be the one using the Esmeralda right here. But for Team Happy Feet Embers, they are going wild for this Rafaela pick. I don't know exactly kung paano siya i-digest. Hindi ko pa alam kung... It's been a while since I've seen Rafaela. Yes, it's you know like... I mean? It's like one of the very first seasons talaga. Doon mo siya makikita... Okay, Rafaela was actually 
buff nung mga sinaunang seasons. But you don't see every day that the, the Rafaela is on the S tier or the A tier. So, this is actually a new and exotic pick na gustong gusto ko rin makita from Happy Feet Empress. Kasi, I wanna know if this Rafaela pick can actually pull off. It only means na kayang mag-exotic pick ng Happy Feet Emperors. Correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but we've never seen Rafaela in the yes, Nationals. never seen before. Same with the jawhead. Yun lang yun. Except when Styra made yes. it work, right? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into game one. Mm -hmm. Business as usual for the Emperors and Punishers. Pakilala natin ang ating mga oponan. Real quick, on the side of the Emperors, it's Arbe on that Leomord. It's MB on the Granger. My boy Tan playing the Harith. Mr. V is the Rafaela, and of course, it's Kram on the Minotaur. For Sua Execution Punishers, we have May as the Thumbs. Dian going for the Akai Chakno with the Diggy. Pak Beth is going to use the Esmeralda. And finally, Zapnu is for the Gushan. It's one thing to note, ang Punishers, wala silang traditional carry. Mm. Instead, they're gonna go here for the mid-range uh, strategy. Siyempre, they want uh, Zapnu to uh, go ahead yes. and snowball. Of course, Chaknu known for being such a lethal tank. We've seen him jump in uh, as a Minotaur. Paano pa kung Esmeralda? So they are gonna go for this very, very violent and convicting oh. uh, gold take here. Yes. Pati sa baba, uh, Looks like no one's occupying middle lane oh. for now. Pati sa baba, nakuha ng Punishers ang gold buff. Oh. So, uh, in, so that's gonna lead to a 200 gold lead. Yes. Very quickly. But of course, the discipline from both sides of the team should show nila ang respective minions from the top side and the bot side as well. Hold si Ngo, si Chakma, medyo, medyo aggressive dun sa baba. But here we have May, medyo inaharas dun si MB. But with a low health, thanks to the Rafaela here, Snapa, gamit siya ng sprint to tower hug in that top side. Chilang. Dian here and Zapnu to the rescue. Iwan nyo yung tropa namin dito. Offlaner yun si Dian, ha? Oh, touch him. But look at the bottom side, though. Nineneglect ng Happy Feet Emperor. So it leaves to a good position for Swag Secretion Punishers to push this first bottom turret. Pero ang May here on the break of health with the Zaman Force in play. As the first bug will be going to Mr. V with his first kill. At na-execute, though, ang ating paring Harith. But in the long run, it's actually a good trade because Swag Secretion Punishers just push the bottom side and a good rotation para sa ating turtle. It would be too much to ask for the Punishers to go from 6 to 12, mm -hmm. bottom to top to defend that tower. Instead, go sila ng Torres sa baba and Turtle. I think that's a good trade. Mm -hmm. They are ahead about a thousand gold. And yun nga, this is uh, turning into uh, a Punishers game so far. Uh, I think they're ahead here. Chaknu just just cutting the lane, uh, cutting the wave. Uh, make sure Arbe cannot make space for himself. And mapapasin mo ha, EXP-wise, lamang na lamang ang Punishers dito. Yes, and mo ang nanaglag ng Happy Feet Emperors but look at here to win from Zaman Force Times Journey is going to be used pero nakapag-flaker away si Chakno in the brink of the health but the Tan here naka-escape siya with his flaker out and this goes to show that Happy Feet Emperors manage to defend but at the same time pakbet though medyo low dahil napatay siya ni Leomord oh I'm sorry I stand corrected si pakbet pala ang naka-esmeralda yes. at si Chakno ang nakadigi alright so this is some Whoa. Of the Zapnu is going off, ladies and gentlemen. Takbo paring Zapnu. I don't think you can get away from this. There's too much to ask uh, to survive an onslaught from Tan and Graham and company. Yes. Uh, lang. He, he paid the price. Still a thousand gold ahead. Uh, it's just May making the most of it. Yes, and while that fiasco was going on, nakita natin dito May and Chakno going for that sweet rotation from bottom to the top. And the Minotaur here trying to go to actually defend, but too late to apologize dahil ayan na nga, nag-decide na lang silang kumuha ng ating buff doon. But the Leomord still trying his best to like show of away minions para hindi na matuloy-tuloy ang papupush ni Thomas dito sa top. But again, this leads to a bit map control for the side of Sua Execution Punishers dahil na-push na ang top at bot at ang natitira na lang na top, it's I mean the turret, the first turret is the mid lane. Okay, Turtle, so far so soon. good. I really like how uh, Mr. V's Rafaela is performing. Yes. He did get the first blood and he's making these rotations for the Emperors a little more doable, plausible yes. per se. Kasi ang bilis sila gumalaw eh, from top to bottom, mid. It's just it's, it's so hard to defend from May's solo uh, times here. Yes, and do take note that Happy Feet Emperors only has one tank. 
So they have to really protect wisely on who but look at here on the turtle side harriet was able to steal it but the gushan goes for the kill against leomord the harriet goes for the slay as he kills chakno on the long run pero mukhang si pakbet dito nahihirapan kung sino bang uunahin yung i-target and pakbet here still in the low of the end with the hurricane dance pero nakapag-killing spray ang ating harriet with the help of his chrono dash and with a double kill kahit nakapag-tower hindi pa rin susuko though may here medyo late na siya the gushan goes for the kill and the revenger squad here pero hindi sapat dahil na triple kill niya ang kuya mo gushan at hindi pa rin tapos because May will be trying to defend Chakno here pero napakalakas masyado ng damage output ni Tan dito at nakapagback but Tamos here will be killing that Minotaur in exchange na maligtas si Tan dito but look at that crit and Arbe here hindi magpapatalo pero nakapag reverse time si Chakno doon at hindi mahabol si May pero yun na we are seeing here kiting but hindi pa rin sapat Arbe was able to defeat him in the neck of time but Dian here with that first kill at napatay muli si Leomord at si Envy na ipit dahil si Pakbet at Dia to the rescue but the Rafaela goes for the heal and the stealth as well para hindi siya makita dito and now they are just going for resources I really like that conceal on Mr. V maagin niya na uwa yung shadow mask and it, it, it helped uh, MB survive and that's really good pero I think uh, both teams mentioned it. Seems like done. That was a long and uh, extended team fight that should have ended maybe a minute earlier. But take note, the Rafaela pick here, the exotic pick that we expected to not perform well, is actually the one carrying for now. Because even if Walashan kills, look at the support. It's one one six for Mr. V. Don. Maganda yung pagkaka perform, pagkaka execute niya ng uh, ng shadow mask. But look here, though, pag bet medyo na ibit but the one for will be used. A uh, chakno with a low health big but that ranger will be getting that crit and goes for the double kill. May and the Dian goes enter a bit too late at five members ngayon na happy feet ng tower hug and goes for that triple well, the Goshen though medyo kukuha ng tiratara dito ladies and gents and Zapto will be forced to back away dahil Arbe and the company ay papunta na sa kanyang help indeed parang cleaner si Zapto ngayon eh. medyo tagalinis na lang muna eh I think uh, this is the way that they can do this I think this is what the Punisher should do right now tama lang they're making the right calls I think because they are on the defensive even if they have pushed much, much earlier and much, much faster, lamang sila ng isang tore yes. sa Emperors, the Punishers really are in no position Whoa. to force the issue. Kasi nga kanina pa sila nag-audition, kanina pa sila isa-isa. Isa-isa. And Zapno it has been playing off-lane or at least been farming up more often recently. And in the past two fights, humahabo lang siya, cleaners lang siya. Yes. So right now, uh, after the Turtle Slay, I think they are back to parity, equilibrium has been reached once again, and the Punishers can move into a more aggressive position. Yes, and I would just like to highlight kanina, no, even though the Leomord was tower hug, na reverse time siya ni Shakdu, which gave him the mark coming from the Zap, come from Zapno kanina, at na-incandescent siya towards his death. So it was actually a good cooperation done by both Zapnu and Shaknu doon. Para kahit pa paano, medyo na minus one nila ang members ng Happy Feet Emperors dito. At kita mo nga ngayon, ladies and gents, medyo in the side of pressure na kay uh, Punishers. But look at the damage, though. Zapnu with the incandescence killed uh, Granger. But of course, in exchange, Rafaela will be shutting down Zapnu there dahil nag-tower hug. Pero the Minoan Fury is used. Both are stunned and knocked up. But uh, Dian with that hurricane dance at na corner si Rafaela and Esmeralda goes for the kill reverse time though may use ni ating Diggy Chakma has to go back with the low health uh, the Zaman Force and the Chrono ja Dash will be here trying to free hit Macbeth but Macbeth though with absorption of his shield na matay si Harit at hindi pa rin na patumpik ladies and just because the Akai also manages to pick off Minotaur there at hindi na wala nang choice si Leo Mordito dahil low health kahit low health siya more members pa rin ng Punishers though but great Ranger, hindi natamaan si Diggy doon, even though it was it was short on range by an inch. We've seen the Punishers do this before. Parati silang mahilig mag-counterpunch. Hey, Major, uh -huh. magpapabugbog sila ng konti. They'll trade lives for objectives. But right now, this is what I said. They're back into an offensive position. Zapno here just picking off Mr. V like it's nobody's business. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the items real quick. Zapno sitting at a 9, 3, and 0. Mm -hmm. Ayun na nag-aasim siya. Ayun kanina, pumasok siya sa base. Nakabuo naman siya. And a quick, oh, flashy show-off. 
Masters up to Mr. Sakto. Clean para sa ating game number one dahil nagpupunas lang siya ng mga members ng Happy Feet Empress na alam niyang confident siyang papasukan yun. Pero ladies and gents, nakita natin kanina na inattempt yung Lord pero I think they prioritized to push turrets more which is essential but takbet there, medyo win one on one yung Lord doon at papunta na nga si May para mapuntas na sa kanila ang very first Lord. This is quite the free lord. There's not much the emperors can do. It's only Cram and Mr. V just poking out. They're playing footies behind this bush. Oh. And of course, this lord is going to be coming up. Oh, yan nga, ladies and gents. The reverse time, though. Pero nakapag-minuan fury si Cram kanina. At hindi na nakapagpalipas pa. Rafaela successfully straight the cushion. Pero dito naman, nakapag-hurricane dance si Akai kanina. But the Harris in exchange, napatay niya si Gushon. Pero wala na silang core ngayon. Dian has to shove away members of Happy Feet Emperors. Nakapag-immortality. Pero hindi na rin siya makasurvive dahil four members ng Happy Feet Emperors ay nandoon sa kanyang gilid. And this is actually a good spot for Happy Feet Emperors as they push this middle side turret. May has no choice but actually tower hug here. Pero si Kram na kumukhang medyo nag aggressive siya dito. And this is a good chance for them to destroy the Lord. But this is also to buy time for Swag Secretion Punishers. But Ayan, it's too late. The first time is there. Cram, though, hindi siya nahuli ng Falling Star Moon, eh. Pakbet. At ayan nga, Tan here, medyo tinatry niyang mag-back away because Pakbet's damage also stinks. But the Lord here with an inch of health, hindi pa namatay. At ayan nga, pinatay na nga nila. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Punishers have made sure that the bottom lane has been pushed. So, Sakto, even if no one was defending, they still have Equilibrium. It's still their wave. And of course, it's May who's going to be pushing that back. Zapno and the gang, they're putting pressure into mid and maybe trying to clean up top. I really like what Chakno is doing, but ladies and gentlemen, si Kram, ang ganda lang mag ni Kram. Yes. Pag mag-aggressive na ang Punishers, parating naasarap lang si Kram and that gives the rest of the Emperor's time to defend. Even if Pakbit hits the Falling Star Moon, there's still a good possibility that he's gonna miss. And of course, MV is right there. He is oh. doing a lot of damage. And it's just right for Zapno to go Dian. ahead and dive in. Dian tries to go in with the Hurricane Dance. So, para ma, ma corner si Kram. At wala sila may no one fury. But ladies and gentlemen, kita natin dito medyo na low on health. Uh, members ng Punishers. But Gushan successfully killed uh, one from Happy Feet Emperors. Naka double kill. Pero in exchange, napatay siya ni Rafaela due to tower diving. Pero ngayon nakikita natin si Arby going back to bed though. Ma, hindi na ka siya umabot because he dive in too much the on sa base ng Happy Feet Emperors but this is on the good side for Suha Execution Punishers dahil kung makikita mo push na ang outside turrets nila buhay pa si May Diggy is just there standing by at mukhang if mukhang pagka lumabas ang Happy Feet Emperors magpaprovide lang ng vision tong Diggy eh. mm -hmm. look at the items on Zabno COD Calamity Reaper, Truncheon, Concentrated Energy, buong buo na, wala nang kailangan pa. Sitting at a lovely almost 9,000 gold. To be honest, it's May who we should be looking at. Yeah. May has been tanking a lot of damage, sitting at 1, 3, and 6. Pero yun nga, look at the top lane. Mm -hmm. Doon una nabutas ang Emperors and it's the work of May for the past maybe 10 minutes Although, that's been yeah. pushing this. Yeah. Although maganda nga yung nagiging exchange ng Happy Feet Emperors and Swag Execution Punishers. Uh, the fact that medyo may objective priority pa rin ang Punishers, it only means that medyo in a pinch pa rin ang status ng Emperors. And we are seeing now, hindi na nila pinapaagaw doh yung kanilang Sage Golem, but still, look at that Thomas and that Esmeralda there. Talagang nag-agaw din eh, in exchange. And they're just waiting for the second Lord to spawn to give pressure when with regards to pushing dito sa side na so execution. Lord is up in about 30 seconds. Zapno just cleaning up the rest of their jungle so that they can uh, go ahead yes. and the clean uh, all the resources on the map. Ang ginagawa dito ng Punishers, chinachoke na nila ang Emperors. Because the rest of the waves are theirs, it's a red map as far as we're concerned. The Emperors, what they can do here is they can turtle up, protect the rest of the lanes that they have. Mm -hmm. That's the two bottom and ta uh, bottom and mid at syempre linisin nila yung top kasi parating may pressure yan eh no, yeah. kung magpilit sila ng laban sa lord and magtry sila magcontest there's a possibility that we go into a base race yes meanwhile we are seeing that the lord has already spawned but ngayon ladies and gents medyo hindi pa nila ganong inano but back bet though is already starting up to kill the lord there and members ng punishers pinipressure lang Thomas on the top side 
parang ayaw talaga palabasin si Liu Morton. Cram though, medyo checking on visuals dito. At ayan na nga, Dian has to go back uh, with that first Binoan Fury coming by Cram. Pero si Dian lang ang nahuli. Chrono Dash and uh, the Zaman Force Harrod. Pero wala siyang nakuha. But medyo messy ang nangyayari dito because Thomas has killed Rafaela. Wala na silang health regeneration. Falling Star Moon nakapag-dower dive with that confidence. And na-reverse time si Minotaur at naka-slain ni Shakno dito. At dahil na-pick up ang three members ng Happy Feet Empress, wala nang makakakontest ng second Lord for the hands of Punishers. This is a clean Lord Day. Is the second Lord of the game. Libre libre para sa Punishers. Meron pa silang push na mid at bot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just two members taking the Lord here. Ganito yung maganda eh. The lineup on the Punishers, they're able to go with four and one. Four and one. Maybe three and two even. Yes. And they can fight. They can stall. And that's the reason Ooh, why they're able the to take objectives even if they are trading. And ladies and gentlemen, Arbe bites the dust here. This is gonna give some time for Zapro to just solo this tower. Chakno and following up ladies and gentlemen lord has been called out he's gonna be marching down top quick fight engage in mid arena nga with the chrono dash and the zaman force dian will be cornering up ram right here para hindi siya makapagminoan fear pero it will be cancelled this pakbet here absorbing more shields slaying that rafaela gushan goes for the kill against that minotaur and ayan nga ladies and gents mukhang pa tapusin na ng so execution punishers on game number one they need to lang nila to si mb but harith goes for the kill but Game number one goes to Sua Execution Punishers. It was quite the extended struggle. This game ended at 16.